The auto show is rolling into Detroit, the world's largest car makers fighting for market share. So who's making the hottest selling cars of tomorrow? Let's look at what people are buying today for some clues. Despite its bailout woes, the top car company is GM with 18% share of the market. It sold over 2.5 million cars last year. Sounds great for GM, but that's a big drop in share from 1997 when it had 30% of the new car market. Next is Ford with over 15% of the market, followed by Toyota with over 14%. Chrysler ranks fourth at around 11%. Ford and Chrysler are in about the same position as 15 years ago, but Toyota is up four percentage points. Despite rising gas prices, all three of the big three US automakers are selling more trucks, including SUVs, than cars. Look at this list of 2012's top five selling vehicles. Number five, the Dodge Ram pickup. Number four, Toyota Camry. Number three, Honda Civic. Number two, Chevy Silverado pickup. And the number one bestseller, the Ford F-Series pickup. Overall, the industry today is selling far fewer vehicles than it did in the mid-2000s when they sold about 17 million cars a year. Well, look what happens between 2007 and 2010. The numbers drop to 10.5 million. Then in 2012, they're up again to around 14.5 million. The luxury car market is helping drive that growth. With a million vehicles sold last year, it's up over 11% from 2011. Leading the pack, the BMW 3 Series, selling close to 100,000 cars last year. The Mercedes-Benz C-Class came in second with around 82,000, the Chrysler 300s in third with around 70,000, followed by the Mercedes-Benz E-Class with 65,000. Some of the most expensive super luxury brands made impressive gains in 2012, even if their overall sales were still small. Bentley sold 2,300 cars last year, a 23% jump from 2011. 520 people left showrooms in Lamborghinis, a 53% increase from the year before. Rolls-Royce sales were down. 294 sold last year, a 20% drop. Still, one Rolls Phantom sedan is worth about 20 Ford Fusions. Jason Bellini, The Wall Street Journal, New York.